Welcome back viewers. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about RAM memory space allocation. Before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So you should never miss an update. Here you can see that uh, the 8051 has 128 bytes of RAM. And for them, the assigned addresses will be from 0, 0 to 7f hexadecimal number and after that uh, the 28 wires are divided into three different groups the first group will be a total of 32 bytes from location 00 to 1f hexadecimal number these are uh, uh, said to be register banks and the stacks and the next group is a total of 16 bytes from location 20 hexadecimal to 2f hexadecimal number and they are uh, said to be a bit addressable for read and write memory and the third group is a total of 80 bytes from location 30h to 7f hexadecimal number and uh, these are used for read and write storage and also called as scratch pad here you can see that in 8051 the ram allocation will be such like that 7f to 30 they are for scratch pad ram and after that uh, 2f to 20 so these are for bit addressable ram and 1f to 18 these are for register bank 3 and uh, again 70 to 10, 17 to 10 these are for register bank 2 and uh, 0f to 8 these are for register bank one and uh, also these are used for as stacks and uh, the initial uh, ram will be for from 0 0 to 7 for register bank 0 these 32 bytes are divided into four banks of registers in which each bank has eight registers uh, which are for uh, r0 r0 to r7 ram location from uh, 0 to 7 are set aside for bank 0 of r0 and uh, to r7 where r0 is ram location 0 r1 is ram location 1 and r2 is ram location 2 and so on under memory location 7 which belongs to r7 of bank 0 it is much easier to refer uh, to these ram locations with names such as r0 r1 and so on uh, then by their memory locations uh, each re uh, after that register bank 0 is a default when 8051 is powered up it means that a default register bank 0 will be used here you can see uh, the register banks uh, and their addresses uh, RAM addresses so for bank 0 the register address uh, will be 7 uh, sorry the RAM address will be 7 or if you uh, uh, start from R0 for uh, bank 0 the register uh, for R0 will be uh, memory address RAM address will be 0 and for R1 in uh, bank 0 the memory or RAM address will be 1 and similarly for bank 2 the R0 for that RAM address will be 8 and similarly for R1 uh, of bank 1 the RAM address will be 9 similarly it goes on for RAM 2 and RAM 3 here you can see at last uh, R7 of bank 3 the value of RAM address will be 1F and similarly for R7 of bank 3 the RAM address will be 1E so these are in hexadecimal so there will be a particular RAM address for each bank registers these are the all bank registers from R0 to R7 each bank has uh, 8 uh, registers so each 8 register has a particular RAM address after that when we uh, uh, we have the ability that we can switch uh, to another bank by use of PSW registers or program status world register as uh, I have discussed them in my previous lecture so I will put the link in the description you should go and check out that here we have the bits D4 and D3 of the uh, program status world which are used to select the desired register bank here you can see 
these are the two register banks selector flags or psw registers which are used to select the banks if we, if you are trying to select the bank one so uh, both of them will be zero zero similarly if you are trying to uh, select the bank register bank two so the rs zero will be one and rs uh, one will be zero uh, the, uh, these two are also referred as a program status word 4 and program status word 3 similarly if you want to select bank 3 so both of them will be 1 so these are the particular conditions uh, which depend on the user de user definition that which register bank the user is trying to access or use let's consider an example here you can see uh, if we uh, or copying the 99 hexadecimal into R0 and if uh, in the next instruction we are trying to uh, move or copy 85 hexadecimal number into R1 so it means that uh, in first instruction it will load on 99 hexadecimal number into R0 or register 0 and in the next instruction it will load 85 hexadecimal number into register 1 Similarly, as you can see in the ex next example, move 0099. Here you can see that it is directly uh, accessing the RAM location. Uh, it is the way it says uh, this instruction says that the 99 hexadecimal value will be directly copied to the RAM location 00. And in the next uh, instruction, move 01. A H85 hexadecimal number here again same is going on that uh, the 85 value is being copied to the particular RAM uh, location which is 01 after the as you can see in uh, the last example first we are uh, trying to select a particular bank or register bank so uh, here we are uh, we have selected the particular PSWO4 so it says that uh, the bank will be our register bank we are using is 2 after that uh, we can directly move the values or here you can see we are uh, moving the 99 or we are copying the 99 hexadecimal number into r0 but this r0 will be of bank 2 and similarly this r1 will be again of bank 2 and this value 85 hexadecimal will be moved into the particular RAM location of register bank 2. Thanks for watching.